All right, good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today we will be fragging Jason Fox's Barney Acropora. We have the Griffin bandsaw here with us, and we will be using it to cut the coral and finish the edges on it. Here you can see me looking for a good place to cut the coral with the saw. Since this coral is going to remain in my display tank and I'm regrowing it out, I don't want to disfigure the coral or mess it up. I'm just trying to cut off a few frags so it can grow back and look great. I couldn't find any places that were suitable for me to cut. So my, own, my next option was to resort to the coral cutters and grab my pliers. All right, I have my pliers. Now I'm ready to cut off the tips. I'm gonna to try to get as close to the base of the coral while still leaving some of the branch behind so it can regrow easily. Fragging does require some skill. You don't just wanna go break your corals apart or just nip it anywhere. I'm a little OCD about what I do, so I plan ahead and think before I make any cuts. Here you can see how nice of a piece this is. It's gonna make a great frag for somebody. It'll grow quickly, and the spots where I cut it from will heal without any issues. Now it's time to put the coral back in the tank. I always try to wear gloves because these corals do release mucus as you cut them and you take them out of the water. So it's good to rinse them off after you cut them and then throw that water away. Since I had to use the coral cutters, these frags are a little uneven. So I'm taking the bandsaw to straighten them out. You want your corals to sit straight up and down so that the light hits them evenly, and when they grow, they look natural. This is the part that takes a little planning and some thought and consideration. The coral lights on most acros will already be growing towards the light in one direction. You can match this, or if a branch is growing out an angle, you can try to correct this so it looks bigger and more natural as it grows. This is something you have to make a decision on when you're picking and cutting the piece, but it's all personal preference. All right, here you can see my fancy fragging station. Um, this is a high-tech model here. Um, you can't get these anywhere. It's just pretty top of the line stuff so what you're looking at you know keep it a secret but um yeah so I, I picked out some frag plugs according to the size of the frags I try to match the plugs to the frags you don't want a goofy looking ginormous frag plug with this itty bitty little frag so I picked out two of these plugs um, and I put some glue on it already and since I've already finished the surface it's ready to be plugged and glued. Sometimes I'll dry it off with a paper towel. It just depends. Um, but these I didn't really need to. Since they're so well balanced, they just stood up on their own. It gave the glue plenty of time to harden. Sometimes when using this glue and gluing acropores, I'll use an accelerator. But because these are small frags and they're pretty like I said well balanced and they're standing on their own I don't need to hurry and accelerate the glue so I'm just using a turkey baster and spraying some water over top to help rinse off any residue that could build up on the base because when you put these corals in your tank you don't want the glue to coat them plus rinsing with water helps keep them you know fresh out of the tank so they stay a little wet keeps them happy and less stress on the corals when fragging them so now I'm going to give them a quick dip 
just to get off any other glue that could possibly be on there. I'm being a little redundant, but it's always good to go the extra mile if you have the time. These frags are all rinsed and ready to go back in the tank. And here you can see the frag tank. We're putting the new pieces in. Um, it went pretty smoothly. We didn't have any issues. So these corals weren't out of the water too long, even though it's not an issue for them. But at the same time, like I said, I don't like to stress them out when cutting them. But here's the process, and you guys can see the corals now in the tank. Even though we rinsed off the corals uh, a few times, you can see there's still a mucus coating along the outside of the acroporas, and this needs to be cleaned off. So we take the turkey baster and we'll gently blow it off. Um, you can see there's micro bubbles have collected too along this mucus and the glue. So it's just good practice to rinse them off again. Um, it helps the corals breathe and overall helps ensure their general health and well-being. So you can see again closely there's a little mucus left um, but I'll make sure that we get all that off. As always thanks for watching and happy reefing. Please hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel please do to see more great videos like this one.